Hi, I've bought more crap off the internet, but uh, how can you pass this up? This was only less than $30 shipped, and uh, shipping costs half that. Uh, this is an MT4010, and it's a 100 volt maximum input. It's supposed to be 40 amp. It's a nice little MPPT controller. You know, it's low end stuff, but let's take a look inside. Uh, you got two nice big inductors, and they're in aluminum pods, and they're mounted on a big heat sink. Now, the, these inductors actually uh, produce more heat than the FETs themselves. So we have uh, four 4310 FETs over here, and uh, those do the switching. These are the input caps. caps. There are 560 microfarads, there's six of them. The output are 2700 microfarads, and there's two of those. They're all 100 volts. These 4115s, uh, these are used as the diode. Uh, any FET has a body diode in itself already and when you uh, turn these on that drops even lower for the forward voltage so you get more efficiency uh, this is a uh, common ground it's called uh, it's often called negative ground all the minus pins are connected together uh, a lot of people uh, have these controllers and the minus from the uh, solar panels to the battery. There's a FET switch in there. That's the normal blocking diode. And uh, on the output, this is a high side FET driver for the lamp. And the lamp is uh, driven off the high side. So again, it's common. Uh, this is the best way to have it. So uh, you got a good heat sink here. and. Uh, Overall, it's it's not a really bad unit. It's supposed to be 40 amps. And the first thing I noticed was, huh, there's no fuses in it. But I was wrong. There are fuses. Uh, when I opened this thing up, immediately I, I checked the FETs for any blown up damage. And uh, the FET, this one right here, it's a 7534. I don't know what it is, but it's probably in the 5 to 8 milliohm on resistance. Voltage doesn't matter that much because it's just switching at low voltage. It's fully on or off, so you don't have, get any heating losses. And the center pin, the drain, was blown up. It was totally missing. Now, if you look at these FETs, there's a fat section here, and then there's a narrow section. And this used almost the entire length uh, to connect. The uh, Normally, you have to tab. Uh, better designs actually use that to connect instead of the the center tab. <clears throat> and this section from here to there had just fused open. And so I figured, well, that's a blown up FET. I cut it out. But I later tested it, and the FET was still good. This piece of wire just acted like a fuse. And that's all it took to fit it, fix it. And, uh, It wasn't really too critical. Matter of fact, you could have jumpered a wire in this, and you probably never would have known it, known the difference. Uh, this is my new high voltage uh, high voltage uh, water heater board. Probably kind of neat, but these had uh, 55 volt FETs, and I moved them up to 150 volt FETs. So I had two FETs that came out of here. So uh, FET not waste not. Uh, I just used those in here. The, the there are 3205s, and they're 110 amp, 8 milliohms. It could be lower, but if I was ever going to use this for 40 amps, I would put a second FET in here and just parallel it all. Because, really, you can't put that much current through a pin. Uh, in a D-pack, uh, you use this uh, thicker section. But even that, that's a, you know, 40 amps is a lot of current to put through a single little device. And it would be better if there were two in parallel. So, from my viewpoint, you know, this is this is a great little controller because I can fix it up. 
Uh, for some of you, uh, you're buying a 40 amp controller, you don't want it to burn up. So, you know, do the 40 amp if you're really only going to put, you know, 20, 25 amps in there, maybe 30 on a, on a really hot day. So, that was it. Replace this, and uh, I had a working controller. And it, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, it seems to uh, track better than my other controller that I bought. And I'll keep buying these things. Uh, this uh, MT4010 as like everything from China. It's under a bunch of different brand names. But uh, this is what it's like inside. And it's kind of amazing because you have this tiny little water they're trying to get all the current through. And here they put gigantic bus bars to bring the power over to it. Doesn't make sense. Uh, th uh, this is a real rookie mistake. You know, they should have had a one more FET in there, parallel. They got the room, and then you would have had a, you know, pretty good system. But uh, here I got a nice controller. I'm using it in a space where 15 amps is probably the maximum it'll ever see. Generally only about 10 amps, so uh, this works good for me, and the fact that it's a negative common uh, really works in my system because I do water heating. So that's it. Uh, if you buy anything used like this, you know, check the uh, check the FETs to see if uh, they're damaged. Uh, the internet is becoming a cornucopia of these. Uh, old solar things. I mean, a couple years ago, uh, you, you were lucky to find any used equipment that was broken on the internet, and now, you know, all the stuff I can want, I can buy. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to have to stop buying this crap. But, this nice little unit. So, uh, thanks for watching.